Hey guys, I told you I had two stories from my school having a haunting. Um, so this one is when I was in the auditorium. If you don't, if you don't know what an auditorium is, it's a big like kind of like theater type of thing. So let's go. So I was in a one act with a couple of other people and they were all going to go to Pizza Pizza and eat, but I already packed food so I was just going to eat there. Um, so Peter asked me if I could watch everybody's bags and I said, yeah, I was kind of like a mom friend, like I would watch everybody's stuff. Everybody left and I was singing on stage because that was my chance to finally like be alone and sing. People would occasionally walk in and out just wondering what the where the music was coming from, if somebody was in there so they wouldn't lock it up type of thing. So I wanted to sit in a chair near the back of the auditorium, but also, so like the back of the middle. So like the back of a middle row type of thing. Someone called me on the phone, so I talked to him. I can't remember if it was my friend or my aunt. It was somebody. Um, when they hung up, I heard a sound echoing, like somebody going, <clears throat> like that kind of sound echoing through the auditorium. And I was the only one in there, so I got kind of freaked out. I looked around everywhere. I was still alone. I thought maybe somebody came in and cleared the throat or something, like the band teacher going down to his room or something. I then felt a breath here on me, and I flinched and I looked around. But guess what? I was still alone. Then I looked behind me out of the corner of my eye. So, like, my head is straight, but I looked behind out of the corner of my eye. I saw a black figure move behind me in my line of vision. And I got so freaked out that I made a Snapchat, and I'll put that Snapchat in here. Alone. In the auditorium. And I thought I saw something in the back. This school has got to be haunted. But that's the only information I have on that haunting. I don't have any other information. Uh, but I will tell you something. My world history teacher in my sophomore year, Mr. Young, he told me that there was a little boy that died in the school. And this guy's been here a long time. Like, he retired my sophomore year. Like, he's been there a long time. My sophomore year was in 2016. So, he was telling us about this story of this little boy. 2015, 2016 was the year, but you know what I mean. He's telling us a story about this little boy. And he said that this little boy will only show himself to girls because he thinks girls are pretty. So he'll only show himself to girls. I'm a girl. I was alone in the auditorium. People have told me they think I'm pretty. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Um, but yeah. I just thought that was interesting and I should let you guys know that Catonsville High School may be haunted. Um, I definitely want to go back there and do kind of like a spirit box session in some of the most haunted places like the auditorium, room 330 apparently, and um, the locker rooms. I hear the locker rooms are a big place for spiritual activity. But um, yeah, also my college is haunted. Yeah. Um, anyway, but if you got a, I'm sorry guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.